NPC Spider Man, bro. Hey, fuck nigga, what you said? Hey? What you said, fuck nigga? Hey, what you said, fuck nigga? You said don't stoop to that low. What you said, fuck nigga? Oh, he broke character. Hey, come, here. come here, let me knock your teeth out, nigga. Bitch ass boy. Bitch ass boy. Talk to him. Let me do my nerdy shit in peace before I beat your ass, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. These niggas think I'm weak or some shit. I'll beat the fuck out you. Walk away, white boy. Walk away, pussy boy. Damn. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Nigga can't just be on some nerdy shit, bro, without some nigga coming up to me, bro. Make this shit go viral, bro. The fuck? That shit is annoying, nigga. God damn. So it's like that. It's Dina, go back to like the flowers. I'm just trying to be a nerd in fucking peace, nigga. God damn. Hey, it's me, Miles. Ooh, that's hot. Hey, thanks for roses. Yo, <laughs> yo, he just went right back. And cinema is crazy, though. Let me do my nerd shit in peace. Damn. Like, honestly, like, yeah, like, leave him alone. Of course, Blaze Blue shit. Blaze Blue's fucking ass. The worst fighting game of all time. She has beautiful eyes. She has beautiful eyes, honestly. Very, very, very beautiful eyes. Okay, you want to get up? Hey, you don't do it. Come on. What for you, motherfucker? Damn! Oh, you just punched a dog. So how mad do you have to be to punch a dog? What's the context? Wait, what did it say? The dog owner gets a beating after his pupil bites his neighbor's dog? What? He got an ass whooping because his dog bit a dog? No way. Pitbulls and aggressive dogs. The reasons I the reason I carry when I walk my smaller dogs. Facts. Was his reaction justified? No. Most people are saying yes. What the dog owner did? The owner didn't do anything. His dog bit the neighbor's dog. We're missing too much context? Yeah, we need to know more context because there's no way you just got the ass whooping of his life because his dog bit a dog. Now, to be honest, with his own dog bit my dog. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I have to cook the ass, maybe. What's happening? Is this a fake dog? Wait, this is so uncanny. Oh, good boy. You're amazing. One more time. Yeah, cool. But he's next to you. It's a person? There's no person inside there. <laughs> that is not a person inside there. If I read the title and it says, Oh my god. A Japanese man spent over $20,000 for this border collie costume. You cannot convince me this isn't some weird sex thing. There's a man inside there. If you put this in, uh, if you put this much effort into, uh, if you put in this much effort, it's not sexual. When it's sexual, you buy like 52, I mean, man, is a deep fascination with being a dog. What? Nigga, what? What this nigga talking about? What? Is this how furries coming now? They just want to be a dog? Fuck, damn. 
he is Kanaf. Had to get that out of there. Greetings. I have returned. Last week, I asked you guys to send me your wildest confessions. Confessions that y'all were planning on taking to your grave. And I'm not going to hold y'all. You guys delivered. But you guys delivered a little too well. And as of writing this, I've had more than 5,000 emails sent to me within the first 24 hours of me posting the video. I didn't know it was Mr. Popular. And these confessions are just one big mess, like a casting couch. Some of these confessions go from... I farted in school, T to so so I killed my mom. So yeah, these were all what? over the place. A lot of y'all also just undershared me then the stories were like nothing. Like they were basically normal life occurrences. I trolled my friend on Roblox one time and I felt bad. Now, I know you most likely a kid that's typing this out, but that's not a confession. D did you also kidnap your friend? That's what I would wanna know. And apologize to you. Chat, I want to know y'all confessions. Send those long Stephen King novel length level of confessions. I ain't reading all that. And the few times I did read all that, most of the stories weren't even all that. So why did you write all that? And the other half of y'all overshared. I understand I told you to tell me things that you were planning on taking to your grave. But I wasn't ready. I was not ready for what you guys were about to send me. I underestimated myself. I underestimated you guys. Because most of the disgusting things y'all send me were about playing with your meat. A lot of things about poop and pee. I even saw a few brother-sister activities. What? I don't want to get too into them. You people I mean, that's normal. That's normal. Help than I, expected. I mean, I knew there was going to be stuff about playing with meat. But the cousins, <laughs> that was out of left field, man. It's like y'all living in an anime. A bad one. But still, thank you so much to everyone that sent one, even though some of y'all are terrible people. But if you love me, I love you. The love is mutual. But some of y'all need help. But without further ado, let's just start reading some. I'm gonna read some not-so-bad ones first, just so we can start in a, you know, a not-so-bad note. Like a happy note. Let's start with this one titled, Silly Little Secret. Anyways, at a sleepover at my friend's, one of my friends mysteriously had one of his glasses lenses come out. I accidentally stepped on it because it was dark at night and he put it on the floor. Ah, oh, shit. Sucks. That honestly sucks for your friends. That was not that bad. He just broke his glasses. All right. Everyone has broke their friends' glasses, right? Nutted on my grandma. What in the fuck? Brother. I was doing my thing in my room, you know, wanking my as you do. And bro, it sucked. Like, I couldn't get my going. So I was just scrolling through my phone and I found a photo of this lady holding a dog. I didn't wink it to the dog. Thank you for clarifying that. Wow. I was getting worried. And didn't know who she was. And I was like, she, she's kind of fire. So I like, I got, I got my shit going in. Like a year later, I was flying to America to go to my grandma's funeral. And bro, I recognized her. They used the same fucking image I nutted on a year earlier, dude. I'm sorry, grandma. I got hard during the speeches, though. What, what? Love your videos, by the way. Ah, oh, thank you, man. Honestly, I could have forgiven you for most of it because, you know, you didn't know and you just found out. But that last part, bro, that was unwarranted, bro. You need help. Okay, this next one is titled, Do I Regret It? And the first word is yes. You know when you're in a weird crew of teenagers in high school? Oh, no. Well, I was. And we were playing truth or dare. Yeah, they should have just kept that to the grave. Poop off the fucking floor. Wow. So have you ever eaten poop? Teenagers are behind bars right now because those are not your friends. What kind of friend would dare another friend to do something like that? No, you sir. You should have pooped on the floor and threw it at him. I hope you're doing better, dude. Okay, this next one is just titled Confession. And the confession is, I like One Piece. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Get this man out my sight. I don't <laughs> want to see you ever try to talk to me ever again. Man's trying to start a second pandemic with all those nasty diseases he's trying to spread. Just... Never come back. <laughs> okay, this next one is titled Rip for My Head. Just get out of here. Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. This actually happened in the show. <laughs> okay, this next one is titled Rip for nah. My Nub. 
This happened when I was seven, when I was in my what? cousin's pool visiting for his birthday. And me and my older cousin were playing with the pool drain for the jets and shoving things in there. It got to the point where we were shoving body parts in the drain. Then my older cousin bet me some decent Pokemon cards to shove my thing in there. So yeah, my childish ass brain took the deal. In a few seconds, everything was well till I felt a crazy acute pain where our thing was supposed to be. And yeah, so most of my willy got sucked up and now I have a little nut for it. I'm a pray. So jump back to present day, my girlfriend wants to get dirty with me and I don't know how to tell her about my tiny nub. Any advice? Also, my balls are still there, don't worry. You know what? I relate to the story. I mean, not to the no PP part, but like to the water jet thing. Every man has thought about doing- That's facts, that's facts, that's facts, that's facts, that's facts, that's facts. Like if you're in a pool and you see the water jet, I've tried to put my, I, I've, I, I have put my dick inside there. I think that's normal though. That's like the normal thing, right? That no matter I put what, my dick inside there. Every man I just didn't lose it afterwards. Those things with the water jets in the pool. So that's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's just sad <laughs> or if y'all have those houses that have the built-in vacuum suction, have you ever put y'all dick inside there and just let it blow? Chat? Chat, y'all can relate? Not relatable game. What you mean that's not relatable? You know, I'm not okay. I was gonna call someone else, but I'm not gonna do it. Had the worst outcome. I'm not gonna tell you who I was calling. You still have kids, bro. And as for your girlfriend, of course you're gonna have to tell her eventually. Hopefully she takes it well, and both of you guys can go through this and live happily ever after. And the next time you guys ever wanna do the dirty, just take her to Six Flags. The King the Ka is more exciting than anything that can happen in the bedroom. I wish the best for you and your relationship, bro. I love you, and I hope you got those Pokemon cards. Next one is titled. My mother is a Karen. When I was a child, I found everyone's mother is a Karen. My my mother is a Karen too. Super Karen. Karen. One time, Supreme we Karen. Food chain. She pushed down a glass vase because her food took too long. Once we left, she said. It should take them at least the entire night to clean that up. There was another wow. time when she ordered a hamburger with no pickles for my younger siblings. However, the workers accidentally added pickles. This caused my mother to fly into a rage and start yelling at the worker throughout the drive-thru while my father tried to convince her to stop. It got so bad that the manager had to threaten to call the police on her. Luckily, that didn't happen. I feel bad for all the children of Karen's, bro. Moment of silence for them. Because every time they go out with them, they have the risk of encountering the scary thing imaginable a minor inconvenience yeah they're screaming at the cashiers for doing their job but not in the way that she wanted it i feel bad for you my friend i hope your mom realizes one day and thinks to herself wait am i a bitch i hope the best for you stay strong you can get through this all right this next one is titled i ruined my friend's chance of getting a girlfriend on accident i was talking to how do you even do that and the girl hated anime I did not notice, but my buddy loved it. So I tried to help my friend by talking about good stuff he does. I don't know why I mentioned that he loved anime, but I did. And the girl said, he likes anime? I think, like, that's a really weird thing to be, like, upset about. <laughs> Don't tell me she broke up with him just because he likes anime. I mean, you were fine with him before, so who cares if he likes anime, right? Ew. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even like the biggest anime defender like that, but that's such a weird thing to like. What? You like a medium of shows? Ew. What? And at that moment, I realized I screwed up. There was no going back. She avoided him for the rest of the year, and I never told him. Wow. Honestly, dodge a bullet right there. That Honestly, yeah. Good for him. Who gets that's so true. Turned off by yep. A person like an anime that yep. they never interact with them for the rest of the year. That's Unless facts. Your friend is one of those weird ones, which I doubt. I trust your friend. Then that girl's just being over the top. They would have never worked out in the end. You they would have never dated friend, bro. if you him watch the anime was the issue. Story. Next. My confession is I beat my d with mustard. Okay. Next one can't be as bad. One time me and my brother I will say though, there was a time too where I beat my shit with mayo. And uh, it was pretty messy. Brother pissed in a bottle and we started taking turns pouring it on each other. Sounds Hello? very smelly. Alright, next one can't be as bad. I found my sister and my mom's only fans and I sub to both of them. I guess you gotta keep money in the family somehow. You're trying to create that generational money. At least I hope. Okay, next one can't be as bad. It can't be as bad. 
I fucked my stepsister in Mexico. Not even kidding, bro. <laughs> You know that I can see your names, right? I might be censoring your names in the video, but doesn't mean I can't see them when I'm reading the email. I can say your names right now and end your career. Oh, <laughs> say I won't. I'm talking to you. Chill, buddy. Chill, you chill, know? chill, chill, chill. No, don't expose my message. It possibly, possibly. Don't expose my message. It can't. It just can't. Don't expose my message, bro. Next one. Thank you. Confession. Hello, y'all. Free law X here. I just have one question to tell y'all. Why y'all not following the channel? Y'all clearly enjoyed the video y'all watching. Y'all might as well hit the board to follow. Appreciate it. I'm not subscribed to Degenerosity. <laughs> oh my god! The horror! You blocked! You blocked! Get out! I don't need heathens like you in my emails! I hope I don't read another one like that again. Next one. My confessions. I pick my nose and ass, and I eat both the things that come out of those ass <laughs> Second confession. There are better YouTubers than you. Okay, you see, all that nose and ass picking you be doing, that, that made your brain all foggy. That's why you think the second one is true. You're disgusting, bro. Why don't you eat some actual brain food, like lead? I eat it, and I'm the smartest person in a one-foot radius. But I hope you get out of your picking hobby, you know? All right, next one. I walked in on my dad sleeping with my uncle. No. I mean, there probably wasn't any space. Okay, I know the title the sounds really bad, so let me explain the situation. When I was like 11, I walked in on my dad drunk and flirting with his brother-in-law, mom's brother, and I saw the whole thing unfold. Okay, that sounds better. I, I thought it was his brother, you know? That would have made things weird. I mean, this is still weird, but this is slightly less weird. When he got sober again, he promised he would give me anything I wanted if I never told my mom. I'm now 16 and they got a divorce few years back. Dad then went to brother-in-law and married him. Yeah, I've been- Hey, it's Blowback Mountain. The past like five years because I don't want to end up on the street. Love your vids, bro. This is something, bro. I, I honestly don't know how I'd feel if I was in your situation. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't even know how to comment on this. Other than this reminds me of the plot of the movie The Whale. But instead of teacher and student, it's brother and brother-in-law. But I hope the best for you. Wait, The Whale was about a teacher and a student? That's so disgusting. You and I hope the best for your mom. I know that whole family situation is probably really weird for her. I hope the best for you. Hey, John Bertha. Especially you and your mom. Next, I blackmailed EDPs on Snap and I ruined someone's life. I had a decoy account on Snap where I would message EDPs and find their location. After that, I would threaten to call the police if they didn't send me money or I would just take their credit. Was the obey store? I did this, I the night ed teacher? The student? I took a screenshot of the notification where it said their name and how much money they gave me. I posted his phone name on my TikTok by accident and someone found out where he lived and messaged his family. Not gonna lie. That's a pretty good side hustle you got there, bro. You seeking vigilante justice against these weirdos, and you also making a bag out of it. Congratulations to you. He also sent me two screenshots of evidence, one showing a conversation they had between each other. You don't look 14, though. Yikes. But you look cute. Thanks. <laughs> and the second screenshot just shows Yo, the way how this guy edits the video is comedy. Bold name and face in the payment of You're a big boobs. Blackmailed out of. I'm not going to show that, but the dude looks as he texts. But good for you, dude. Keep doing your side hustle. I hope you become a millionaire. Next one is titled Fish Party. There was one time I was watching The Little Mermaid with my two friends. So half an hour into the movie, one of my friends just leaves without telling us anything. Us, the remaining two, figured he just went to the bathroom or something. But in 10 minutes or so, he got back with what appeared to be a living trout in newspaper in his left hand. What? Asked him what did he need the fish for? So he, without saying a single word, pulled out his tiny willy. Believe me that it was not a grower and started doing things to the poor fish's mouth. Again, the fish was still pretty much. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? What is wrong with you niggas? Much alive and it was just helplessly waving his tail and fins while our friend was, oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, sooner or later, when he was done with the fish, he was doing it for about 20 seconds. He asked us with a dead straight face. Ryan Gosling is literally me. It was not April Fool. It wasn't even the first day of the month. In reply to this, we just stared him dead in his eyes. Yeah. Waiting for him to realize what he had done. I kid you not. <laughs> it took him about three minutes or even more to finally realize what disgrace and unholy doing he just committed before he just left my friend's house without saying a single word. Should I say? Ooh, could you imagine the embarrassment afterwards? You weird as hell, boy. No one is fucking with you, bro. You gotta leave. In a situation like, like if you're gonna do something like that, just be prepared you're leaving afterwards. There's no way you're gonna fuck a fish in front of me and you're and you're staying in front of me for longer than a couple seconds before you pack your bags and leave. Hey, Les, we never hung out with him ever again. Like ever. That's not the type of fish party I came in for. That was more like. Where did he get this party, fish? Man. That's disgusting. I'm so. Uh, I don't even want to talk about this no more. Moving on. R.I.P. Bozo. I've been telling my older sister for six years that I killed her bunny in an accident. She was away at a swim meet and trusted me to take care of her rabbit. I was so little so I thought the rabbit wouldn't die when I chucked it across the room at light speed because I thought I was Luffy. I literally am him. Turns out. I imploded its brains. I was so terrified and remorseful, I started begging to the heavens, then came up with the ultimate cover-up. I told my sister I walked in the room and opened the door a little too quickly, and a stupid rabbit was in his way, so I bonked it on his nose lightly. She took it to the hospital, and it had a seizure and killed itself. She forgave me later because she thought I did it by accident, but to this day, I haven't told her that I did that. Big Can fan, by the way. I don't even think seizure and killed itself she forgave me later because she thought i did it by accident but to this day i haven't told her that i did that big Can fan by the way it? i don't even think that because you're a little excuse is good enough bro when i was little and i was told to take care of something i would just ignore it because ignoring it would be the 100 percent guaranteed that i'll still look and be the same when they come back to get it Unless they're gone for like three weeks or something. But no, she was just at a swim meet and your first thought was to chuck it across the room as hard as you can. You are evil, not Luffy. <laughs> and you made it kill itself, bro. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Tell your sister the truth, bro. Tell her that you're the antichrist, bitch. <laughs> But you love my video, so I love you too. All right, next one. I once played hide and seek in the dark naked with my cousin. Okay. I hate my life. Next one titled, Hello, mate. I pooped on my brother's spaghetti and he thought it was a meatball and ate it. It was so funny. If you were my brother, I'd legit commit war crimes onto you, bro. That's an unforgivable act, not gonna hold you. Next one is titled, My School. Not really to do with me directly, but I digress. Like four years ago in a math lesson, there was a question about slavery. It had like different kinds of slaves, what they can do and how much they cost and things like that. Then my teachers took it a step further by making us act it out as some people are visual learners and understand it better if they are shown so they had the black students be slaves and turn my math class into an auction oh my my teacher did, my uh my history teacher did this y'all history teacher didn't do this what 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 why would the teachers make a mock slave auction in math class this is math class who was your teacher that's what my history this teacher did from everybody hates chris and your teachers wanted to say oh this is for the visual learners bullshit they just wanted to see what they could get away with the person also sent a picture of the slave questions that were on the math test lot one two fell up slaves one man one woman aged 18 and 23 respect this is terrible the woman is pregnant lot two, like wh why 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 you need to report that school you need to report those teachers because i'd be damned to have miss morello as my teacher martin luther king is screaming in his grave hearing this all right this next one is short and sweet it's titled homo sh me and my friend what? accidentally kissed walking towards each other looking at each other straight in the eye we both real men we don't talk about that i ain't gay i recommend you and your friend to explore each other's bodies i ain't gay I recommend you and your friend to explore each other's bodies. Next one is titled Lamau Confession. Once me and my few friends bullied this girl to the point she had and tried to blank herself. And I felt bad and told my parents about it and found out she was my cousin. And her side of her family tried to jump me and my friends and put one of my friends in the hospital and my friend's family sued them so like two of them in prison. Send help, bro. Sounds like you experiencing the consequences of your actions. Yeah. Sucks to be you. 
Next, how I got back at my ex. So basically, less than a month ago, I got dumped while getting a haircut. So I thought of ways to get back at her. It was either jumping her freaking mom and her aunt or switching her aunt's newborn with a random black baby. What? So I made a plan to see when her aunt is in the hospital. I'd switch the babies around while no one was looking. As I entered the hospital, I asked where her aunt was and they said down the hall into the C-section area. I went there and that's where the kids was being held and I went in there and switched the babies and made a dash out of there. I think I'm going to jail. Also, yeah. And your raggedy ass auntie. Sincerely, the nigga who did that. Honestly, I don't even know if I believe this story or not. No, nah, definitely cap. In the baby section, a cap. random grown man, and then you switch the babies out. Ain't no way. This is like some Disney Channel ass plot. Yeah, you did a very petty thing if this is real. And I'm rooting for you, brother. To go to jail next one my confession i hate one of my friends this bitch is so horrendous i wish you would get the fuck out of my life when then I see her, I don't I make her be your friend box and ship her to switzerland i swear i have a reason to hate her she hurts me and other people really badly and i want her to leave my friend group so bad but she's literally my best friend's other best friend so if i try to get rid of one of them i'd risk getting rid of both of them hey honestly you just have to get rid of both of them honestly your first idea of shoving her into a box and shipping her to switzerland ain't that bad but I got a better idea. Give her a gift, an all expense paid ticket to the Titanic. That's a once in a <laughs> lifetime opportunity. Who gonna pass up on that? And then after that, you and your best friend will be the only best friends. You're welcome. Confession. You're, you're welcome. welcome. So this is what's happening. I've been dating the same girl for the last four years. Everything is nice. There's been a few bumps here and there. Now I'm expecting a baby with a sneaky link I met three months ago. Huh? Where to from here? Huh? You said South Africa, huh? right? I recommend huh? going to North Africa. And, you know, just stay in there. Never come back. That's my where to from here. All right, two more. Titled Confession. I'm 19 and have been with my boyfriend for three years. Yesterday, I found out I was pregnant. Yikes. The problem is, I don't think it's his because I've been f***ing his dad for the past year. And before you judge, if you saw his dad, you would understand. I know this is a confession, but do you have any advice? Now, I've never gotten pregnant by my boyfriend's dad, so I don't think I'm the best person to ask for advice for this. But in my opinion, I think you should be honest with your boyfriend and hope to God that that baby isn't his dad's. You might be ruining all of you guys' relationships, his relationship with his father, his relationship with you, but... Fucking hell, man. I'm finished. Next Look at his hairline. My uncle almost sent a hitman to my grandma. Throughout my mom's childhood, she has been thinking her parents were chill, but nah. I'ma skip a lot of it, but basically they are cheating on each other for like years and years, and it came out like 10 years ago. Once it all came out, they got a divorce and eventually found other people to marry. My granddad ended up marrying someone who was almost 20 years younger than my mom. What they the did fuck? end up having a kid literally three years after I was born, but literal hell got loose and the big bad stuff happened right after my great grandma passed. My crazy ass step grandma divorced my granddad and they signed a prenup. And all of the inheritance money my own mother was owed got given to her and she is still getting tons of money by my family. We have gone to court because of this bitch and her psycho ass ended up ruining my grandfather even more i could go on about this story but my uncle ended up searching for and found a hitman that's crazy the cash, but my mom with her goody two-shoes ass decided it was not morally right anyways this bitch has ruined my family i would be rich if it wasn't for her and also if it wasn't for my great grandfather we had millions in our family but not one of us has seen a cent of it because he had a gambling issue and to this day we are all broken sacks of crap, and she lives in a goddamn mansion with her son or my uncle, who I am three years older than. Wow. I feel like you're the only person on earth that can say your life is actually a movie. I feel bad for your family. I really do. And for uh, you, big you to say I'm joking, I'm joking, but I can understand why your uncle would try to do something like that. And I hope you guys get all of your money back one way or another. And that's all I'm going to read. I know I haven't read thousands of more, but this video Yikes. is already mad long. You guys get the gist. A lot of y'all have problems or have friends that have problems. Thank you to anybody and everybody that has sent a confession. I'm genuinely thankful. Don't send any. <laughs> nah, this is a good video. That shit was video. funny, man. But before I wrap this up, I've read some very heartbreaking and sad confessions that you guys have sent me that happened in your lives. And to anybody has gone through bad and trauma-inducing events that have happened to you, I just want to let you know. 
that I love you. I know good things will happen to you. I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you. And I'm not good at words with this, but you are loved and wanted. Even if you feel like you're not. Hey, bloody yapping. Hey, yo, W video from uh, de degeneracy. De degeneracy? My bad. Uh, let's go do something else real quick. Let's go do something else.